Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero, the channel that is going to help you become the best version of yourself every single day. My name is Fabio and I'm an expert in risk management and prevention of market manipulation. And today we are going to discuss about four projects, Polkadot, Kusama, Moonriver and Moonbeam. I'm going to display a lot of data, charts, metrics, indicators, and at the end of the video, I'm going to provide my humble price prediction for these four projects. So stay tuned for that and let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. First of all, let's start with Polkadot and let's talk about developer growth in 2023. As you may see, on average, ecosystems lost 27% of their single chain developers last year polkadot was no different and polkadot lost 26 percent of developers last year which is obviously concerning however if we take a look at the performance of polkadot in terms of developer activity in the last 30 days polkadot was the third most developed project which is obviously very very impressive especially if we take in consideration that many people state that Polkadot is dead. As you may see Kusama is on fourth place as well which speaks volume to Kusama as well. Okay let's talk about some other metrics for Polkadot. Number of dot holders 1.27 million dot holders total accounts 3.2 million accounts and active accounts 15,700 active accounts as you may see all these values are currently increasing for polkadot on a daily basis let's zoom out a little bit and let's see how are those numbers uh, fluctuating month over month so if we take a look at the performance since the 1st of december you will be able to see that we have 100,000 new polkadot holders in a matter of three months which is obviously extremely impressive now let's take a look at daily total accounts from 3.1 million to 3.2 million so 100,000 daily total accounts as well added in the last few months actually in just a matter of a month and a half okay uh, let's now um, talk about active accounts and new accounts so as you may see here we have 15,700 active accounts and 4,750 uh, um, new accounts from yesterday as you may see those values have been fluctuating however now i hope to see a new spike and even more interest for polkadot even if polkadot is uh, still developed even if the number of um, token holders is growing you will be able to see from the google trends that the number of retail investors that are currently searching for uh, polkadot is not that high actually almost at rock bottom here why is that so uh, i believe we are still in bitcoin season i believe uh, the bitcoin dominance will keep on raising and retail investors are still not looking at altcoins it's not altcoin season yet therefore the social metrics are still low in my opinion one more reason why um polkadot uh, is uh, and many people think that polkadot is that is obviously because of the annual in, uh, inflation of polkadot and therefore the price couldn't uh, really recover due to the tokenomics of polkadot however many people are still staking their polkadot and therefore they can um, obviously hold more and po more polkadot over time Let's talk about other metrics as the number of core developers and comets. And as you may see, we have seen a spike at the end of uh, last year after um, not the best performance, I would say, in 2023. Here, however, there was a growth at the end of the year and now a drop. However, we still need to take a look at the 
picture as a whole and i believe polkadot will bounce back here especially with polkadot 2.0 and I expect to see a revamp of the parachain auction narrative in 2024 and 2025. Also, if we take in consideration that transactions per second, Polkadot is not one of the fastest networks. As you may see, the um, transaction speed is quite abysmal for Polkadot at the moment. Okay, other metrics that I'm taking a look at, uh, the market cap of Polkadot. And this is important in terms of a price prediction for Polkadot because I'm not uh, checking so much the price action, but the cash in and cash out in terms of market cap. So we may see that we are currently sitting around 10 or rather 11 billion dollars uh, of market cap and we have touched 50 more than 50 billion dollars almost 55 billion dollars in the last cycle do i believe uh, polkadot can recover and reach the all-time highs in terms of market cap of course i believe uh, polkadot can recover even though many people still think that Polkadot is completely dead. However, Polkadot still retained its place in the top 20 cryptocurrencies. It has been around for quite some time already and um, the market cap is still very high in my opinion. Okay, let's take a look at the performance of Polkadot against Bitcoin, which is the most important chart to look at uh, in this moment so we have seen those two peaks in the past cycle and after that a total collapse of the valuation of dot against the btc pair we have seen a little pump here in uh, october november however um, it broke down straight away therefore at the moment uh, polkadot still looks very undervalued against btc if uh, Polkadot will recover against BTC in the altcoin season and regain these heights, this will be absolutely fantastic for Polkadot. However, at the moment, I do not see any sign of recovery as of yet. The chart against the USDT obviously is different. Um, I will provide a short uh, TA here. In my opinion, this is a one, two setup followed by a big massive wave three to the upside, followed by a correction in a fourth wave in an A, B, C correction in a wave four. And I'm tracking a potential wave five here. Uh, just keep in mind that in order to see an impulse to the upside, I need to see three, four, uh, five full waves to the upside. If I only have three full waves to the upside, I can still count all of this as a corrective price um, structure. Therefore, I really need to see this fifth wave to in order to be able to say okay we have a first wave macro wave one to the upside and then i will be tracking an eventual wave two to the downside which if um, polkadot will be able to hold support in a wave two this will be no financial advice a potential entry point on this chart Okay, let's talk now a little bit about Kusama. As you may see, the chart of Kusama against Bitcoin looks also fairly poor. We have seen this lower highs, a continuation of lower highs, lower and lower and lower. Question is, will Kusama be able to recover? Uh, let's take a look at the price action on the chart against the USDT and it's fairly similar to the price action of Polkadot. I have the third wave so I don't have five full waves to the upside. I have a corrective wave pattern in a wave four that I can count as completed. However, there is still no indication of a wave five. I need to see a higher high here. Let's talk now about the market cap for Kusama. Can Kusama recover? The situation between uh, Polkadot and Kusama is fairly different in the sense that, as you may see here, the um, market cap of Kusama was fairly high in the last cycle, more than $5 billion, and it dropped at just a matter of 
few hundred million dollars therefore this was a brutal drop in terms of market cap for kusama if kusama can recover obviously this will be an amazing run however always as always we need to take a look at all the indicators so what about the social indicators still rock bottom why is that so well simply because as i mentioned also for polkadot most altcoins are currently heavily ble bleeding against bitcoin it's still bitcoin season and we will need to wait for the altcoin season to be able to see what is going to happen i'm currently tracking the two percent of the altcoins that are outperforming bitcoin like solana for example like icp mattis was outperforming heavily btc um in a pa earlier part of the cycle and i still believe it will continue and so on and so forth uh, what about the token inflation for kusama also 10 percent and this may also be a reason why we have seen a drop of um of kusama and polkadot however also keep in mind that for example chainlink has a seven percent inflation as well annual inflation and chainlink has performed very well against uh btc okay uh what are the other metrics that i'm taking a look at for kusama the number of token holders did not really change in the past six months we have seen maybe 2000 new token holders for kusama however not even near to the growth that uh, we have seen for Polkadot. However, um, Polkadot is still, um, actually Kusama, I'm sorry, is still number four in terms of developer activity in the last uh, 30 days, which is obviously very impressive. Okay, uh, let's now move on to Moon River. As you may see here, Moon River is currently hovering around $200 million in terms of market cap with a peak at not even one billion dollars in the last cycle why i'm not tracking the price chart as i mentioned i'm mostly tracking the market cap because i believe moon river can reach uh, between one and even 1.5 billion dollars in terms of market cap in the current cycle which would mean a five to seven x from here which would be quite decent in my book uh what about the performance of moon river against the dollar as you may see here i as always i have three waves to the upside and the fourth wave here for moon river is very very long which is an indication that we might be in the correct wave count why because usually wave fours are very long and they tend to bore out the retail investors with a lot of chop uh, we had a very, very impulsive wave tree uh, for Moon River, and I'm actually very impressed how Moon River is holding here in a wave four. Just taking consideration that uh, Moon River pumped from like six or seven dollars up to forty four dollars in just a matter of a couple of days, and usually most of the old coins tend to completely capitulate after that due to the high amount of leverage however we have seen here in this zone few buyers therefore the price did not collapse even further which is fairly impressive after such a huge move okay uh, let's talk about the ecosystem of moon river and the ecosystem is still fairly large and i think that many people tend to overlook um, both moon river and moonbeam in terms of utility development in terms of uh, ecosystem and in terms of what they can do in the current cycle let's talk about uh, moonbeam a little bit and you will see that currently the market cap is sitting at around 370 million dollars and my way of thinking here is similar i believe moonbeam can reach between 1 and 1.5 billion dollars in the uh, current cycle why is that so uh, just simply because i believe still that this project has an utility and if we will see a revamp of the uh, polka dot um, 
auction, uh, parachain auction narrative, I believe these projects will start really to fly, especially uh, as they are low cap altcoins. Therefore, it, they don't need so much capital and so much volume to be pushed and spiked to the upside. Let's take a look at the chart of uh, Moon uh, Beam against the USDT. Very similar structure uh, like the other projects. So wave three is here. However, I can count this wave four as completed. A, B, C. Yes, I can. However, this whole structure here does not really indicate that the wave five is ongoing. It could still push up to the upside and I hope to see a wave five. And in this case, I can at least have five full waves to the upside and have a full macro wave one to the asset, which, which would be absolutely great. The Moonbeam ecosystem, same thing uh, as for Moon River, it's growing, uh, it has still utility, and I believe this project will recover as well. Um, in the next uh, week or so, I'm planning to record one video, especially regarding Moon River and Moonbeam, as I have a ton of news uh, to uh, share with you guys. So if you want more information about Moon River and Moonbeam, give me a big fat thumbs up, write me a comment down below, and I will be working on that. Having uh, said that, guys, if you like the content in general, give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.